So, you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pic? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> Her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. You know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means, um... Right. I never learn. Wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. Hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done. I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Ah, you know what? <laughs> I <you> probably <laughs> did. <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. Uh, it's Morier Invictus. Hmm. It means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? Not that this one's no, not absolutely, great. Absolutely, because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. Right. It's your that, ring. Right. Something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm sorry. No, it's your right. It's the lab, I gotta get it. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th at this time of night? I'm sorry, I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Uh, you guys are taking this shit seriously. Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up! I'm going as fast as I can! Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John.
Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal. And have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! <laughs> we have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, yeah. to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty yeah. forgives Amen. this. Amen. <laughs> but here, on this woman's face, <laughs> Footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You. Come oh, on, gorgeous, let's goddamn go. Goddamn redneck asshole, get off of me! <laughs> I swear to God, what about get you? Off me. Uh, Taylor, uh, wait. And, um, no, sir, I, uh, never been to jail, never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I, know, I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... How about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service and don't lie to me. Oh, no. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new Constitution of these United States against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all the orders without question? So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed! Walk with me, son. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Ah, he's fit to serve. Lo hará bien. You doing runs out in the shit? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. <clears throat> Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. 
Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally, we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. Whoa! Now! Shit! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Defeat the enemy. Sorry. But, yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah there's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Oh, you working on napalm? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, eight tur turpin... Tur Get out. Shit. Get out! I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, acid. Good enough. When can he start? Oh, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Sir. Stand at attention. I couldn't find I you. you had died and I, uh, no, we were overrun. And we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no, no one I made it out. Ryan and Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody was mountain. dead. And I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. See you again. <sighs> hey, hey, listen. Here. We can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't Please. look back. Come Please. on. No, no, Deacon. 
I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I ain't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. <clears throat> Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood, a fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. Corporal. Good. I have a job that requires your unique skills. Uh, sure, yeah, uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the... Dead coyote lava cave. Well, near a beacon. Okay, where is it? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Oh, I've got to find another way to that cave. The war on terror? Global warming? None of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. Ooh. Terror. Let's just smoke it mirrors. Micro recorder. How is that? One, four, six, three. We're at the designated site. Three, zero, one. Built on rest in the Coyote Lava Cave. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and Venus genetically old. Down. 
Okay. Under here. Um. Yeah, not bad. through here. I <sighs> still got your militia armband. Captain, I found your man, Anderson, and you were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. That's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed.
Did it. Yeast, yeast. Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes, when my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, we're fine. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. And then for stay. Yes, ma'am. 